This video is mostly suitable for people who are doing BT for the first time. If you are a first time test taker and want to get an overview of the BT, I'll help you understand how to do different sections of BT by using the official software from Pearson. We'll go through different questions and we'll see how the timer works, how much time you are given for each question and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. If you're interested in more advanced videos, please check out the channel for more tutorials. So let's get started. If you have any questions, you can write in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Or you can also send us messages on WhatsApp or through our Facebook page, Roman PT Melbourne. The first part of the test is speaking, which starts with read aloud questions. In these questions, what you're supposed to do is you'll be given a paragraph and you have to read whatever is written on the screen. They will look at how you pronounce the individual words, how you read one sentence, how smoothly you read and whether you miss any word, you add any word, or you replace one word for the other. Based on that, they will give you the score. In order to prepare yourself, you will get 40 seconds at the beginning, just like this here. And then after that, there will be a beep. Once you hear the beep, you have to start speaking within the first three seconds. So you have heard the beep, now you have three seconds to start. If you don't say anything in the first three seconds, your answer will not be recorded and you will not be validated for that question. Once the recording starts, you can see the progress bar here, which shows you how much time you have spent and how much time is left. Once you have finished reading everything on the screen, you can go to the next question immediately after that. There is no need to wait for the recording to complete. Just like this, you'll get around five to six questions in the test. One more thing. Although in this particular demonstration, you can see that there is a previous button in your exam, you cannot go back to the previous question, so you can only move forward. So you have to be careful that you complete all the tasks before you click submit. The next question type you get is called repeat sentence. Professor Smith will be late for today's lecture. Professor Smith will be late for today's lecture. In this question, what you're supposed to do is, just the way I did, you will have to repeat the sentence you heard. You will have around one or two seconds before the recording actually starts. Do not speak before the recording starts and always make sure that you have seen the status changing to recording. And only after that start repeating the sentence you heard. You will get around 10 to 12 sentences like this in the test. This part of the test will assess you for your listening ability as well as your speaking. The third question type you get in a speaking section is called describe image. In this section, you will get different types of images, usually graphs, charts, tables, maps, and you'll be given 25 seconds to prepare yourself. You have to look at the information provided in the image and form an answer which will help you to get the maximum possible score. You will have to make your strategies to do this in the right way. Once your 25 seconds are over, you'll hear a beep just like this and you'll have to speak within the first three seconds as you read aloud. Then, in the next 40 seconds, you have to describe the image as best as you can, but remember, it doesn't mean that you have to speak for the whole 40 seconds. If you have already covered all the important information, saying everything important that you could say about the image, you can go to the next question immediately. You'll get around five to six describe image questions in the test. This section will only test you for your speaking ability. Now the next question type is called retail lecture. The Human Development Index, HDI, published annually by the and in this question, I have just muted the recording here so that I could explain to you what you're supposed to do. You will listen to a recording which will be around one minute long or you can say 60 to 90 seconds long. While listening to the recording, you can take notes. You'll be provided with notepad, erasable notepad where you can take notes of the information you got from the recording. Once the recording is over, you get roughly 10 seconds to prepare yourself. Once the 10 seconds are over, you'll hear a beep and then you will have to start speaking within first three seconds of hearing the beep. One more thing, if you want to get good score in both speaking and listening, you need to make sure that you are getting the content from the recording and not using your own content. In some of the cases, people try to use their own ideas and information which they create themselves, but in such cases, you might be able to get very good score in speaking, but then you will be losing in listening. Therefore, it's very important that you make a balance between what you hear and what you're saying. The last question type you get in your test is called answer sort question. In this one, what happens is you get a question where they ask you about different kind of things. They might ask you about things related to gender knowledge, things related to English language skills, or it can be any sort of things. Although the question sometimes can be really difficult, the only good thing about this section is that uh, the section itself does not contribute that much of score to the overall score. I'll play one question here to give you an idea about what kind of questions you might get in the test. How would most people travel to work each day in big cities like Hong Kong, Tokyo, and New York? 
Once the question is over, you have to look for the status changing to recording here, and then you have to start answering immediately within the first three seconds. The answer can be in one word or it can be in one sentence. In either of the cases, the score you get will only depend on the accuracy of your answer. For example, if you said public transport, or if you said by using trains and buses, or people travel by using public transport, in all the cases you'll get the same score. This section contributes to both listening and speaking. One more thing is, if you think that you have answered the question incorrectly in this section, you can change your answer as many times as you want, provided that you have time to do that. The reason for that is, this is the section where they don't look at your fluency or pronunciation, but rather they only look at the content that means your answer. Okay, let's quickly summarize what we discussed in this video. There are five types of questions you get in speaking, which starts with read aloud, where you read whatever you see on the screen, and this question is important for your reading and speaking. The second question type is called repeat sentence, where you repeat the sentence you hear. You need to make sure that you can repeat as much of the sentence as possible with good clarity of voice, good fluency, so that you can get the maximum possible score. The third question type is called describe image, where you get an image and you get 25 seconds to prepare what you want to describe about this image. Then in the next 40 seconds, you have to describe everything you see on the image or everything you want to explain about the image. The next question type is called retail lecture, where you hear a lecture which can be around one to one and a half minute long, and then after that you are given 10 seconds preparation time, and in the next 40 seconds you have to give an answer based on what you heard from the recording. Again, this section contributes to your speaking as well as your listening score, and you'll be evaluated on the basis of your fluency, pronunciation, and the content. The last question type is called sort answer question, where you'll be asked a question which you can answer in one word or more than one words or even one sentence. You can change the answer if you are not happy with it and you will be given your score based on the accuracy of your answer.